Before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to my heart for having problems because it's giving me um, a new video series to make. But you've shown interest in my first two ep uh, episodes of why is my heart doing things it shouldn't be. This is part three. So super quick rundown on my birthday. I, I went to the ER because my heart was skipping beats to the point that I was about to pass out. I couldn't stand up and they were like, that's weird. I don't know why it's happening, but uh, bye. And then in part two, I went to a cardiologist. They put a heart monitor on me and uh, they gave me the results and they're like, that's funny. Uh, I We don't know why it's happening. Bye. <laughs> so now it's part three, which is the echocardiogram, which I got done. <laughs> so my job between that time and now was to basically, if it gets worse, go back to the hospital and avoid anything stimulating. So alcohol, caffeine, drugs, which overall wasn't too hard. I don't really drink alcohol. I don't use any drugs and caffeine was the one that was a little difficult. Luckily, I don't drink like coffee every morning or anything. I, I mostly have it in soda and sweet tea and the occasional Starbucks. But today was one of the most upsetting days I've experienced in a long time. So in 2019, Dr. Pepper, which is my favorite beverage on the planet, temporarily released a flavor called Dark Berry. It was in collaboration with, I think, a Spider-Man movie or something, so it was just a limited time run, and I didn't realize it was limited time. I didn't think I would like it, but of course I tried it, and it was absolutely phenomenal. It was the best thing I've ever put in my body. It, like the very first moment it touched my lips, I just like busted on the spot, which I just remembered my grandma said she was gonna watch this video, but <laughs> I gotta get my... <laughs> And then the drink disappeared from the shelves of every supermarket around me. I was craving it all the time and I kept waiting and I kept researching and I was like looking at the patterns of how Dr. Pepper releases limited time drinks and usually what they do is it's in collaboration with a movie. So I was researching movies and there was a Spider-Man, a new Spider-Man movie that was going to be coming out at the end of 2021. And so for two years, I waited for it to be re-released and it was not released with Spider-Man and my dreams are absolutely crushed. So I was actually going to make a video about this last year. So I found I found someone on eBay selling 12 packs for $50 each. And it was like 40 or $50. I ordered three and I was so excited and I was gonna make a video about it of like the retasting and the whole experience. And they never shipped them. <laughs> and they never canceled my order. <laughs> And I spent like $150 on soda that I never got. Now, yes, I got my money back, but why does it matter? It's not the Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. Well, guess what I did today? I went to the store just to get my normal groceries, and I went to the aisle to get my 7-Up, which is it's fine. I like 7-Up. This is my replacement Dr. Pepper because it's caffeine-free. And guess what I saw on the shelf? Okay. They had, they had Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. I had to stay composed because I was in an aisle. Look, basically, my one job is to not drink caffeine. Now, there's not that much caffeine in Dr. Pepper. So I put a 12 pack in my cart and then I was thinking about, well, myself and how I work and how I have an extremely addictive personality. It's one of the many reasons I'm very careful when I, with anything I do basically, because I get very easily addicted with no self-control of things. And there is absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to enjoy a single dark berry Dr. Pepper and not drink the 11 others immediately after, which technically would just slight, just bear, just slightly raise my chance of a heart attack. Like I'm sure I do many things that raise my chance of a heart attack. So I just kept trying to justify. Can I buy this? But ultimately, I put it back. Now it's still there. They were just released. They were, it was like some Jurassic Park or something. Um, and so it's temporary again. So my question to you is, do I buy the Dark Berry Dr. Pepper? And do I drink the Dark Berry Dr. Pepper? I'm just trying to convince myself. Actually, I bet I actually hate it. I bet I would not like this at all, but I keep saying, but I, I just, I keep being realistic and I know I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna drink all of them and then my now my heart didn't stop last time 
in 2019, then again, I wasn't having so many problems then. So, yeah. Anyway, I got the echocardiogram. Uh, it was pretty cool. I actually didn't, because I got one when I was younger. I didn't remember it though. I knew I'd gotten it. I didn't remember what it was like. They just did like a, um, the baby thing where you look at a baby and you're like, oh wow, look, it's a baby. But it was like around here. It was cool to see. Uh, I, I mean, I haven't seen my heart in a while. So yeah, it was cool. Uh, doctors were chill. Uh, and they got my results back within like 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's still, my heart's not like normal, normal, but it's it's still my mitral valve is has problems in regard to taste blood it's not bad to the point that i like need open heart surgery tomorrow and it hasn't gotten worse over time it so it's basically stayed the same so if it does get worse yeah maybe i need surgery someday but n now i was kind of confused about some parts i still don't completely understand because i have like the my heart regurgitates blood which is like it's very common like many of you watching probably have your heart regurgitate blood apparently. I'm just re repeating what the doctor told me. I don't know. It, it's not like I have this super ultra rare thing. Like it's something that happens to many people and it's generally not much of an issue. And then there's the whole skipping beats thing where I, I, I'm i just not pumping enough blood. I'm not getting like enough oxygen to physically stand up sometimes. And so the problem is when I had the uh, heart monitor, that's what it's called, uh, on. I didn't have any bad episodes. I had very tiny little episodes of, oop, my heart did the thingy. And then I like report it and it was sent it to the doctor and the doc's like, nope, no big deal. It was just a little thingy. Don't worry about it. But I didn't have any se severe episodes until I got it back off. Uh, cause I have them like every couple weeks, every one to two weeks. And I have the monitor on for two weeks. And of course I only had little tiny baby ones, but then immediately before and immediately after I'm like on the floor, like, oh God, my heart. <laughs> Can you start beating again, please? So, so because of that, they couldn't actually see exactly what was happening. It's most likely SVT, which I'm not gonna try and pronounce. I couldn't technically get diagnosed with it because I didn't have any actual episodes with uh, the monitor on. You know what? The YouTube comment section surprisingly lined up with the doctor quite well. I could have saved my money and just read the comments of the video. You were pretty spot on. Like, of course there were many different things, but pretty much everything the doctors, each doctor said, lined up with many YouTube comments. So, hey, you did a, you did a pretty good job. You agree with my cardiologist and my general doctor and the ER, so honestly you're a bit better than the ER. But people in the comments said I should get this little thingy. It does EKGs just like whenever I want. Every time I do it, it just says my heart rate's way too high and I need to go to a doctor. I don't know what that's about. But the doctor actually said I can send them the results of these and they'll actually look at them. I didn't think this could be like medically useful, but yeah, unfortunately I just haven't caught any, well, fortunately I haven't had any horrible cases recently, but unfortunately I, the doctor still hasn't really seen any horrible events. Yeah, I just can't get over the diet. I, all I can think about is the dark berry Dr. Pepper. I'm completely all over the place because I can't stop thinking about the dark berry Dr. Pepper. Oh yeah, so I got prescribed with exercise. <laughs> They said just like walk 30 minutes a day or bike 30 minutes a day. I haven't done that, honestly. Yeah, I'm just I'm really lazy, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of active, but I'm not as active as, as I should be. I'm just supposed to get my heart rate up, basically, but not with stimulants, just with my good old legs and moving around and stuff. Um, so there were also a lot of comments about uh, stuff I can take and they, I asked them about it. I was like, yeah, so these people online said that I should ask for, um, I, f I forgot what the things you told me to ask to be prescribed for was. What were they? They're on the screen. Whatever that stuff is, they, according to them, they said, yeah, we'll give them tea if you want, but the side effects are generally worse than the, the issue itself uh, with cases like yours because as far as they can still tell, it's all benign. It's not like something that's gonna make my heart stop. It's just really uncomfortable. But it was a bit hard to explain. Like, it's really, like, it's worse than you've seen because they just kept basing it on what they had seen, which was boop, boop. Okay, that's it, you're fine. But they said like, if you want uh, these prescriptions, you could try them, but uh, they recommended, which I kind of agree, I'll take those if it gets worse. And right now I'm okay, I've been fine today, I've been fine the past few days, so. But uh, I've got the number I can call off and be like, all right, send over the drugs, I'm ready. People kept saying POTS, that's the postural arthritic tachycardia syndrome condition that affects blood flow. I think it was this too. I guess, yeah, I guess they said I had pot. I don't know. I, can't, I honestly don't remember what they said. 
I wasn't really listening. I'm just thinking about Dark Pepper, Dr. Pepper. I don't know. I might have pots or something in the SVT. Most of you were right. I just got various things. I mean, it does not like it really makes a difference what they're called. It's just happening, and I have these things I can take if I need to. Uh, my blood pressure is kind of weird. It, oh, what was my blood pressure? I don't understand how to read blood pressure, but at, at the ER, it was way too high. It's normally high, but it was 110 over 50. Oh, I don't know. Apparently that's low or something. I'm just not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna worry about the doc Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. In other news, uh, Dark Berry Dr. Pepper's back and I can't drink it. But Alex, there's a Dark Berry Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Well, guess what? The Zero Sugar still has caffeine and I hate Zero Sugar products. <sighs> Sorry, I'm looking at pictures of Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. Yeah, okay, so I talked to more family members. I don't wanna, I mean, it's 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 medical stuff, so I won't specify, but basically, yeah, I, I have a family history of heart problems on both my maternal and paternal side, but they're different heart problems, and I'm having both of them, basically. That's the easiest way to say it, is yes, I have genetic heart issues, multiple kinds, and I don't really know which one's affecting me at any given time because it's, it's happened throughout the past few years, and I'm just confused why it just happened, like, I was chill for a while. I had been drinking Bang, I had been drinking caffeine, I had been drinking more alcohol than usual. Still not much compared to maybe the average person, but like I was doing all these things and I was fine. And then like a couple months after that is when suddenly I'm, I'm having issues that would generally be caused by that stuff, but I was actually just having the like Dr. Pepper and that was like it. Like, but that's something I've been drinking every day for, uh, how old am I? like eight seven eight years or something so it was it the straw that broke the camel's back i don't think so because it was just such a random time i don't know they didn't really know why it was happening um <laughs> they didn't really know much <laughs> i know people said i should go get a second opinion but like i saw the data i have all the raw information myself i could see all the numbers i could look them up like i understand what's happening it's just why is kind of the unknown so i don't really feel like getting a second opinion for that and they kept telling me to stop googling things because it was clear that i was getting all this information from he was like you need to stop googling this stuff but i was like i'm not googling it like, i just make videos like my job is to read the comments about myself basically like i'm not gonna stop consuming this information even if i wanted to because uh, so, i don't really google this stuff anyway but he was like get off google I'm like well that's my that's how i'm paying you sir so yeah basically there were two appointments there was the echocardiogram which was to check up on my mitral valve and then there was a follow-up immediately after for a follow-up on this beat skipping it was actually two separate heart problems being checked back to back like it was two appointments and those are the last two appointments i had so on the mitral valve it's about the same not worse to fix it yes i would need i guess open heart surgery but i don't it's not bad enough to need to be fixed and then uh the skipping beats is like eh, i don't know just don't don't drink stuff and walk more was that conclusion so i don't have any more appointments in the future scheduled i can of course set up more if i need to but I don't really know why I would, unless it just gets worse and I want to try the drugs. But as it is today, I'm feeling okay. I'm just extremely low energy. Uh, that's the hard part. I'm sleeping so much. I, I'm sleeping half my life right now. But what I'm doing right now is just up for 12, sleep for 12, up for 12, sleep for 12. I'm sleeping half the time and I still have so little energy. Like I probably look tired now. I haven't been up for that long. So it sucks. I don't know if, why. <laughs> Uh, here, I'll take an EKG right now to prove that I'm perfectly healthy. I'm not perfectly healthy, but we can pretend. The last time I did it, it said I'm underweight. Yeah, and I, I'm aware. I don't, you don't have to tell me I'm underweight. Tachy, what the heck is tachycardia? Oh, my resting heart rate was 103 beats per minute. For a second it said my heart rate was 160 beats which is the highest i've ever had uh but it was just a bug well very very reliable piece of tech here yeah right now it says everything's normal i still don't feel like this is reliable but well that's all i got so in conclusion i think i'll have a norm i think my lifespan will not be affected by my heart which makes me kind of happy but on the other end i'll probably have these issues forever because based on family history 
It's going to be very irritating and very annoying for the rest of my life. It's going to be a constant inconvenience, but at least I'll have a life and I won't be dead. So I guess it's a fair trade. I don't know. I'm still going to complain though. But if any other issues or thoughts come up, I'll be sure to make a fourth part and share it with you. So I appreciate um, everyone that's been interested and I unironically appreciate comments from medical people. I know a lot of people are, don't like that kind of thing because you get this like bombardment of 250 different opinions on a medical problem where none of them have actually even ever seen you in person. But I don't get super stressed out by it. So I kind of, I take everything and I just research each one and it doesn't really freak me out. So I don't know if you should do that with everyone. I, I think it seems most people get bothered or scared or like paranoid about it. I think if I was younger, I would be like freaking out because I was a lot more scared of just like dying as a kid. I'm, I'm still scared of a lot of other medical problems, which I think is why I'm so happy it's just my heart. And I, I do still have a lot of uh, medical fears, but thankfully none of mine personally revolve around my heart. Like a heart attack it doesn't sound that bad compared to the other like medical things I could be having. So um, yeah, I will continue to well, cry about Dark Berry, Dr. Pepper. Let me know in the comments. Should I get the Dark Berry? But that'll be it. I'm Alex. Thanks for watching.